Lead all directly now, child. Don't go loose it. Look, he's bowing his head. Yeah. 
I'll come, Sammy. Joe Mandy. Then come back to you. Please. My baby lamb. I want to smooth out your pillow. Garden. That's what I'm going to do to you for killing my fam. This is what I'm going to beat you with. Don't be long now, Sam. Before you can rest easy. Because I'm going to work my voodoo. The sun is going to growl and the light is going to rain. The devil's going to walk on a white man's grave. certainly sold me on the fact that the julep, with its fresh mint, dash of sugar, and generous portion of real liquor, is a nectar fit for the gods. An intelligent observation, young man. Here's to the julep. Say, Colonel, it might interest you to know I finished checking down at the turpentine plant. Found everything all right, I hope. Well, no, I didn't. I discovered a shortage of nearly 100 barrels of clear turpentine. Hmm. And believe me, I intend to find out where they've gone. That's fast work, Wade. You've been here only a week, and you're already catching up with them. I'd better go over with you, though, and check on. Say, what am I? A drop pitch around here? Uncle, if you don't start including me in on these giggle-getters, I simply won't come down and visit you next year. Oh, nonsense, George. Look at that and send it way across, Eddie. In fact, I think... Oh, my dear, young Southern girls don't go in. Persons on the virtues of Southern girls, Uncle. This Cinderella's been around and has yet to find any lass that brings turpentine for her from cooking. <laughs> Say, Colonel, if I ever have a daughter, I'm going to... You have a daughter? Hmm, optimist. So what do you mean? Who'd ever marry you? I never noticed that wormhole of fall, Mr. Carson. A uh, hundred barrels out of wormholes? <laughs> it was a worm, all right. But this one was big enough to use a chisel and a hammer. I'll find that worm and I'll horse with it. See you at the house, Wade. Home, Tom. Here's some berries I picked for you, Chloe. Thanks, Jim. They look mighty nice. Can I help you clean up out here? You know, I'd like to always. No, thanks. 
Didn't you tell me you had folks down here? I've no folks that cares anything about me. Uh, Jim, everybody likes you. You don't. Enough to marry me. Jim, that's different. You think because you got white blood, some white man will have you? Yeah, he'd have you, all right. But he wouldn't marry you. Listen, Chloe. As long as there's a drop of black blood in your veins, you won't be allowed to forget it. I know. Jim, what if I'm not caught? That's your mother. Oh, Jim. I'll tell you folks. No, I don't believe in that stuff. What I tell comes true. All right, let's hear it. Found a mad gal with a great big home. Found a room in the swamp. Found a weep in the field. Found a fight in the night. In the devil's will. All right. Now I know everything. So long. <laughs> Look what the old devil done to me, child, for luck. Go up the store and get me some hog meat and lashes. Follow that path and turn to the left and you'll come right there. Some fish. Give them here. I'll fix them for you. Better go on after that gal. She's going to the store. Better keep eye on her.
I guess you saved my life that time. Thanks very much. Let me take the basket, Chloe. I'll go with the young lady. The 
know old Mandy? Not yet. But I had a hoodoo meeting last night. And I'm going to get her to work with us. You better do. Follow that game. I'd have been the happiest man in the world. What a lovely child. She was lost to Bali. Today is the anniversary of her death, and every year Uncle looks over her little possession. Excuse me, Colonel. Look, Colonel, what I found at the door. Somebody's putting the voodoo on you. Them switches means you're gonna get whipped. And you see that phone in the heart of that mud man? I seen that voodoo work before, and I knows who made it. Who made it? That's old man this work. That yellow woman, old Sam, what got killed in the swamp. Mandy? <laughs> She's been gone for more than 15 years. Took her child and went down to Everglades. That's right, Tom. But that old woman sure was voodoo, and maybe she done come back. Maybe so, Ben. Maybe you're right. We'll leave these things here, and I'll figure it out. Yes. Yeah. I remember I fired Sam for something. He knocked me out and ran away. Folks tracked him down and lynched him. Mandy never would listen to any explanation. Always blamed me for Sam's death. Ah, poor little baby. She'd have been just about Joyce's age. If she'd leave. a couple of juleps.
that service. No, sir, that habit. <laughs> Take these things out of here, Ben. And when you get a chance, go down to the cabin and see if Mandy's back. Yeah. Hey, what is all this voodoo, Colonel? Just a mixture of savagery, gin, mumbo jumbo, and drum. It sounds like the menu at Sing Sing. But why all the drum beating? Well, that's the way they summon the faithful to their meeting. Well, I've read about these voodoo gatherings, but I never believed them to be true. Say, do they actually kill people? They've been known to sacrifice enemies and cut out their hearts. Sounds awful far-fetched to me in this day and age. Come, Miss Chloe. I promised you. Let's sit down over there. You know, Chloe, you are a very sweet little somebody. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. And I'm in love with you, too. Oh, how can you be? You only met me yesterday. But I do. My heart's full of you. Don't you feel a little love for me, dear? I sure do. More than I should. We can't. You don't understand. Oh, but darling, just understand me. I want you always. This can't go on. You don't know. Oh, but dear, I want to marry you. Oh, we can't. It's madness. Oh, wait. Please. Please. Our love is wonderful. But today, I want to be alone with this memory.
for the love of heaven, ain't y'all man the old Sam woman what used to live around here a long time ago? Close I is. And you come go up in the... Uh, me and the colonel, here there's somebody living in the cabin. So what are you driving at? I heard what you said to Chloe. Well? Her mother's an old voodoo negress. Well, that's a lie. No, sir, that's not a lie. I know. I've lived with him. Brought him here in my boat. And another thing, sir. These blacks got it in for you plenty. You'd better be careful. Yes, sir, you'd better think it over. baby's picture. I ain't never touched it, Colonel. Was sitting right there this morning and I see it. Call Hannah in here. Yeah. Hannah, the Colonel wants you. Bring it here. Let's see what's in it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me 
Maybe you can tell me what she thinks. Rosenbach, there's a cloak. Your baby cloak. Yes. They got framed that way when I fell in the water and nearly drowned. I don't remember it very myself. But Mammy told me all about it. Fell in the water. Drowned. God be praised. You're my little baby. Uh, um, what, sir? You're my little baby. Yeah. You don't really mean what you're saying. I know you're my daughter, but I thought was would drown. Well, you've got your mother's eyes and features. Oh, but you doubt about. Mandy was a mother, just wouldn't listen to me. Well, it seems I've found my daughter and a son, too. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Wonderful girl in the world. Everything. Betty Ann. That name suits you somehow. But I'll always remember the time I first met little Chloe. Chloe. Please let me forget that, dear. You know, I am Betty Ann. Betty Ann, mine forever, sweetheart. Chloe. How come, Joyce? Hey, darling, I have some papers to look over. See you in a few minutes? Mm -hmm. Uncle, are you thoroughly satisfied that she is your daughter? Her resemblance to her mother is too great for me to be mistaken. Oh, 
little joy. Hey, what's the idea of all the ice lately? Ice? What ice? Oh, you should be asking. You've been giving plenty to me. Well, I've had a lot to think about. Yes, so I've noticed. I'll have some time tonight. What for? More thinking? Possibly. I've been talking to Uncle about Betty Ann. We can't allow him to make a mistake. Mistake? About Betty Ann's parentage? How ridiculous. Shakespeare had his doubts about the wise father, you know. Yes, but this father knows his own daughter. And I love her. Fine, good. Strong, my dear. I heard him. I heard him just as much as you do. Look what they've done to me and mine. Something happened here? Yes, I've been fired. Now we've got to work fast. Now, me and men have got it all worked out. We're giving a party at the Colonel's house tomorrow night for Chloe. Maybe we'll have a chance to do something. to welcome you all here tonight. Now I want you to be just as happy and gay as I am. And as my daughter, Betty Ann is. with my baby. Don't you know no good comes from mixing with white folks and black? Ah, uh, go. Go crazy. You're all crazy. Just because you found a little old dress that I took from a dead baby that I found in the river and give to my baby you think is yours. I know my child. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Come here.
Thought you give it a long time for. Down to the sheriff, Harvey. We don't want any lynching. All right, Carl. 